All right, more problems for Obamacare. The Wall Street Journal is reporting an anthem, the latest to pull out of Obamacare exchanges in the state of Ohio, citing the volatile market there and uncertainty about cost-sharing arrangements. Uh, Anthem was in about 20 Ohio counties. If this rings a bell, it should. Aetna recently pulling out of the likes of Virginia, Nebraska, Delaware, Iowa, uh, and, and, and all basically on the same that it was not cost-effective or sustainable for them to stay in that. And of course, that has proved a dilemma that has consistently been raising premiums for those who do have coverage or have to find an alternative for that coverage. To House Ways and Means Republican Congressman Jim Renacci. Uh, Congressman, what do you make of this latest development? Republicans have long argued that this is why you need a fix. Uh, Democrats say you are creating a bigger fix. Uh, how do you answer that? Well, clearly we haven't fixed anything yet, so the Affordable Care Act is a problem. It continues, premiums continue to rise here in Ohio. Now, as you said, we've lost another carrier, which means there will not be coverage in those counties as we continue to lose coverage. Prices are going up. There are clearly issues that we continue to have. And again, when I get around Ohio and I talk to people, they're concerned. They're concerned about their coverage. They're concerned about their opportunities for even being able to pay for what they have, and then the deductible as well. So. We have to be able to move forward. The Affordable Care Act is not working here in Ohio. Um, you know, it's a convincing argument to say, all right, what we have isn't working, and that's clear in a number of these states that we've seen exchanges sort of just collapse of their own weight. But voters tend to say when they're polling, so we like uh, health care coverage and all. They don't understand the math or the details behind it, and they end up blaming you guys for changing it um, when if you did nothing, uh, they wouldn't have any coverage. So. How do you present that argument and just say, all right, what you have now is not sustainable, and in your state, in your district, you're not going to be, period? Well, again, what we have to do is we have to make sure we're listening to the people and talking to them. They do like the pre-existing condition coverage. Right. They do like being able to keep their child on, uh, on their, as a dependent care. They do like to not have the caps on the individual uh, uh, illnesses, those are things they like. But when you talk about all the other stuff, when I travel Ohio, when I travel the district, they don't like the cost. They don't like the high deductibles. They don't like the high premiums. And I think that's the concern that we have to start talking about. How do we address that and how do we fix it? The bill that we passed out of the House is a start, not an end. The bill that we passed out of the House is a, a, a way of changing it. We sent it over to the Senate. This is a process we need to keep working on, but we have to get it right for the people of Ohio. Are you and troubled? For the, for the you it, you as mentioned well, not what, just Ohio. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but you mentioned what's going on in the House and what you guys did, and now the Senate's pondering this. They, they seem to be starting from scratch, despite all the things you guys worked on, and, and they're not keen, for example, on the big Medicaid cuts that came with uh, what you were working. Do you think the, these differences are going to be reconcilable, and, and that a a late summer timetable on this is still doable? Well, I hope so. Look, again, they may not like the Medicaid uh, cuts, but the Medicaid uh, expansion is unsustainable. I'm also on the budget committee. We can't continue to spend we don't, money we don't have and borrow from China. So we have to get politics out of the way. Too many decisions in Washington are made based on elections versus on what's right for the people. The debt and deficit is, is I have to sit and look at on a budget committee and say, how do, we, how do we deal with that as well? And this Medicaid expansion program just is going to continue. It's unsustainable. So I'm hoping that we push something out that we believe is a start. I'm hoping the Senate comes up with some ideas where they realize that we have to be able to fix the health care dilemma and the health care problem. We have to work with the, the situation we're in. At the same time, we have to remember we have an unsustainable debt and a Medicaid Medicare expansion program, Medicare, a Medicaid expansion program that is unsustainable. So I'm hoping they're looking at that as well when they make their decisions in the Senate. Congressman, thank you very much. Very good seeing you again.